All right, if you've seen our handy paint pail video, you can tell this is one of my most loved tools. Uh, this is one of my favorite brushes, but today we're going to talk about just cutting in before we paint this wall. Um, there's always that one person on the job that gets, typically you got one roller and one cutting in. The cutting in is the, uh, the fine touches needed. Well, I like a flat sash brush. Some like an angle. It's all preference. It's all what it gets you, the crispest, straightest line. Um, when coming in and assessing a wall or a space that you're doing, after you've sanded and you've got everything ready to go, the last place you want to cut in is at the top. And the reason for that is that's immediately where the eye is going to go. So when you go into a room, you want to do your base first, go around. You never want to go too far into a project because you don't want to get hat banding. So you want to do one wall at a time. And the last place you want to cut is at the top so that you have that wet edge. The other thing you want to do is when you cut in, you want to give yourself some wiggle room. So when you cut down or cut out, you want to come out two or three inches and that gives you enough space so that when you roll, you're out here and not trying to be really tight and fancy right here. Might get a boo-boo and now you got to repaint the whole door. So when dipping, a lot of times people will dip into, they'll dip and then they'll go like this. Okay, you literally have no paint on your brush now. So you're going you're gonna to dry brush. See, look at this. I mean, you got some, but all of a sudden it's gone. So what you want to do is you want to dip. If you need to do a little bit, I mean, just shake it off or even just tap it. Now you've got paint. Now you're ready to do something. And so all you're going to do then is you're going to go up. I always do a little bit there, and then I go right to it, and I just come down. And then you can always back brush and, and fill in where need be. But if you, if you give yourself some room, you can always roll into, and that's fine. But if you only cut in and you just go like this, then all of a sudden you're, you're really just, it's not a good idea. You want to you wanna have as much, you're going to make it as easy as possible. Um, the Alpha brush also, which is what I'm using, um, is designed to, with an appropriate dip, so you have to have the amount, right amount of paint. You can do a seven foot door frame in one, in one dip, uh, which is pretty awesome uh, when it comes to painting jobs.